Hello, in this C programming video, I am going to show you the pointer operator, which is designated by the asterisk symbol, which will be above the, the number 8, press shift and you press that. It might be different depending on your region. This is not a video on you know what pointers are, you know, or really how to even use them. It's just if you you know have heard the point operator, you want to have a quick little check what that is, this is what this video is for. I'll have a separate video covering references, pointers, passing by value, you know, all that sort of good stuff. But this is not a pointer video. This is just really just a little small part of that. Okay, so to let's say if I create a variable i and I want to get a pointer, you put asterisk, that's the pointer. We can end it now. But don't worry, I'll do a bit more. Put semicolon, we'll put that there. Let's say we put int j, so a regular variable, find the value 9 to it. And let's say what I want to do is whatever happens to j i want to happen to 9 kind of so let's put it a different way let's say if i want i to always you know be the same value as j what you can say is i is equal to the reference so the memory address of j you don't need to do that here because i is already a pointer so if you don't put asterisk you're not actually dereferencing it therefore you just referring to memory locations if you do put asterisks in front of it except for when you initialize declare it you are referring to the value so let me show you so we'll do printf mm, let's say if i do i let me put j equals percent i backslash n j If I give that bad boy a run, we get nine. Ah, okay. Remember to print out the value of a pointer. You, you have to dereference in it. That was my mistake. And there we go. So what what that ultimately means is if I was to say j is equal to eight, for example, now, and I reprint these out, run it. We get eight and eight so basically it is modifying not i it's i modifying i in terms of i is pointing to j and then it's modifying j essentially and you know other variables can point to it as our other pointers and what else can you do what we could also do let me print out again but instead of saying i if i say asterisk i so this is saying the value at the memory address of wherever i is pointing to which happens to be the area of memory that was allocated for j if i put that as seven for example i'm just going down one doesn't really matter that's now seven so that's the pointer operator if you have any questions feel free to join the discord group there's a link in the description along with the link to the github page and as usual, I look forward to seeing you in the next awesome C programming video.